Okay, so I thought I might make a video on this. This is a what appears to be a new old stock Fairbanks Moors J4B3. And the reason I can tell it's new old stock because it was not when I bought it. It was not advertised. There's no marks here where bolts have ever been on it. These screws have never been marred up. It's just extra clean. The tag's good and clean. The inside the clean if it was ever I don't think it was ever used, but if it was, it wasn't much. It does have the original kill switch. So I bought this for the Alice Chalmers B. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with the mag that's on it. It just seems that the impulse is kind of weak. So I thought maybe a new old stock one would have a better snap to it. It does. So this will be the mag going back on it. It's got the other one on it now. But in the ad on eBay for this one, they had pulled the cap off to show the inside of it. And the inside is just clean as outside. So I know they probably got it out of time. So I'm going to take it apart and check it and be sure everything's clean on the inside of it. Alright, so I try to keep it in frame. I'm going to pull the small cap off first. Get my little jar. did it without ruining the gasket yeah the carbon's not even worn the contacts are all good and clean definitely a new old stock mag that one's actually got a piece of cork instead of a felt never seen that before alright so I'm going to take the rotor button out Go ahead and remove the large cap. Just figured I'd make a short video out of this. Does have the Bakelite point still in it? Yeah, it's a good tight shaft right there. It's mostly that cork. Yeah, the points are slightly corroded. That oiling felt doesn't look that great. So what I'm going to do is replace that with another one that I have that I bought for the other mag because that oiling felt looks kind of nasty. I realize it's a new old stock oiling felt, but still. This one that I have here is also new old stock. Looks just as, looks better. We're going ahead and put some oil on that. I also dab some on this bushing right here. Can't turn it by the little gear, but I'll turn it. It's a very strong impulse. So I 
now need to turn it to where the points are opened. Yeah, they're a little corroded. I'll clean those up. Okay, so now that I've cleaned that up, I'm going to check the gap. 20 thousandths. Right on it. Yeah. It's actually a little bit less. Now, I heard somebody say to set these at 15. And that's what it's set at. That's where it's factory set at. So I'm going to leave it where it's factory set at for now. You can see I've got a little red dot there. And I've got a a and a C in here. So what I'm going to do, take my paint marker, because this is a clockwise mag, mark each tooth on each side of that C. That makes it easier to reassemble because you kind of got to do it blind. I'm also going to mark the top of the tooth that's got the red dot so I can see the top of it. And that won't hurt anything. And I can see that those are lined up. I'm going to put it back together right there. Now, I also seen one guy on YouTube that said to set the points to 15 instead of 20. And yes, I am reinstalling the felt. I was just showing how to do the rest first. All right, so I've got it lightly clamped in my vise. I've got a plug in it that has about a 35,000 scap. I'm gonna put this wire in here. We are going to check it for spark on number one first. Didn't see anything that time. Not seeing any spark. Yes, it's got spark. Didn't see it at the plug. But it's got spark. I don't know how it got me through ground. There it goes. I had to charge the condenser. See if I can shade that so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. 
and then turn it back. All right, there it is. We'll go to two. Good spark. Three. Good spark. Go to four. Good spark. I'll see if I can get you in closer and see if you can see it. Try to shade it. I think I got it. This, uh, all right, so it's my new old stock Magneto. And, uh, I guess that'll be it for this quick video. This will be going on to Alice Chalmers B. And that'll be it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.